Hello friends this is fifth part of Code Igniter Login Register System, in previous part we have complete discussion of register process with email verification, now in this part we have start discussing login form. For create login system in Code Igniter, first we have to go to login controller, which we have already make under controller folder. Under this login controller class first we have write public function construct method, this magic method will execute this block of code when new object of this class has been created. Under this we have write parent class construct method, here we have extend parent class construct method with below this we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this we have write form validation this code will load form validation when object of this class has been made and this library we do not want load again in class after this we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this method we have write encrypt library, it will load encrypt library when object of this class has been created. Now we want to load login model, so here we have write dollar this with load object with model method, and under this we have write login model, this method will load login model, when object of this class has been created. Function. Below this we have make index function, this the function of this class, that means when in browser, we have write base url slash login controller name, then this function will be called. Under this function we have write dollar this with load object with view method, under this we have write login view file name. It will load login view file in browser. Now we have go to login.php view file, and here we have already imported bootstrap library style sheet. Here first we want to make login form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post, action is equal to base url function with login controller slash validation method so when user submit form then form data has been submitted to validation method of login controller for enter email address details here we have write input type is equal to user email under this field user can fill his or her email address details for login. Same way for remember value for this field, here we have write value is equal to set value function, and under this function we have write this field name user email. Now we want to display validation error for this field, here we have write echo statement with form error function with text box name user email, it will return validation error for user email field. Deta After this for enter password details, here we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to user password, in this field user can enter his or her password details. For remember value for this field, here we have write value is equal to set value function, and under this function we have write this field name user password. Now we want to display validation error for this field also, here we have write echo statement with form error function with text box name user password, it will return validation error for user password field. For submit login form details, 
here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to login, by click on this button, this form data will be submitted to validation method of login controller. Now we have go to login controller, and here we have make validation method, this method will receive login form request. Val Under this method we want to first validate form data, so here we will use form validation library which we have already loaded under construct method. So here we have write dollar this with form validation library with set rules method with three argument. In first argument we have write form field name user email. In second argument we have write email address. It is for validation error. And in third argument we have write validation rules like required, trim and valid email. This validation rules check this field must have a value, and that value must be valid email address. After this we want to validate password field, so here we have write dollar this with form validation library with set rules method with three argument. In first argument we have write form field name user password. Pa In second argument we have write password, it is for validation error. And in third argument we have write validation rules like, required and trim. This rules check this field has value or not, if it is blank then it will return validation error. After define validation rules, now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with form validation library with run method, this method will run validator. With if there is any validation error occur then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we have write dollar this with index method. This method will display login form on web page with validation error. But suppose there is no any validation error then it will execute if block of code. Now friends in next part we will discuss login details verification code in login model. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.